Hey there, welcome to or back to my channel. Today's settlement was actually a build challenge put up on Cordless VII's Discord. If you haven't seen any of his videos, I totally recommend them. He introduced me to a lot of building mods and really the potential of Fallout 4's workshop. The theme of this build challenge was very fittingly a quarantine shelter. An illness has hit the wasteland and we need to quarantine ourselves to stop it. When I first envisioned my idea for this build, I pictured a bunker nestled in the middle of the woods with a small water source like a pond for bathing, washing clothes. I wanted to use Conquest and make my own area somewhere, but unfortunately I'm having some sort of mod conflict with Conquest and it's just breaking my game. And then it hit me. I never go to Coastal Cottage because no one likes Coastal Cottage, but it might be perfect for what I want because I can replace this busted shack with a bunker and there's already a convenient little hole in the ground if I want to use some water effects to make a pond. So that's what I did. I debated even doing a before and after because everything is just so different, but obviously I have a green mod on, I added a bunch of trees so I'm kind of nestled in the woods. Over where the barn was, I replaced it with just a little shack that could fit, the workshop that I couldn't move, and a generator. Over here where the hole was is my new pond, I think it came out really nice, it was pretty much what I wanted, and my bunker. Now me and Daphne are probably going to be here for a couple months, so I really tried to think of everything that I might need or want. I have like plenty of storage, um, a plant, plenty of guns, a little kitchen and bar area for entertaining my teddy. <laughs> I also have my workshop, I got plenty of ammo, my power armor, anything I might need over here. And across the way is a little more storage and our bed area. So let's take a look in workshop mode and I'll kind of give you an idea of how I built everything. The bunker itself was made from Snappy House Kit. Dead Wasteland had one too, but I was having issues with the floor, like stuff not sitting on the floor. So I just used a snappy one. Over by the pond, I just used SOE uh, water effects over top of the hole and then just added some like grounded rocks and some trees to kind of fill out the rest of it make it look more a little more natural and then the shack over by where the workshop is is just a dead wasteland shack that i found that was just big enough to hold what i wanted i really didn't want to do too much over there i just couldn't move the workshop about 80 percent of the interior is from dead wasteland it's my go-to mod at this point it has everything i kind of want in the immersive look i go for a lot of the trash and stuff is all from there. Over in the kitchen, if you're wondering how I got stuff from the fridge, it's from Do It Your Shelf. They have the two separate pieces, so you can add whatever you want in the fridge. They have other shelves that look okay too, I just went for a more hand-placed look. Most of the deco in here is hand-placed because I think it's a little more immersive. Now let's talk about this teddy. I spent, and I'm not exaggerating, an hour and a half trying to get sunglasses on a dang teddy bear. I was spent. I did what any reasonable person would do, and I complained about it. And just when I had lost all hope, this wonderful human being made me a dang teddy bear with glasses and a mod. I was so happy and so pleased and so thankful, still am. Definitely check out his other mods. He's so creative, and it really helped me out with this one. I wanted someone I could serve drinks to at my bar, and it worked out, so thanks. If you're wondering where I got this kind of pull-out style bed over here from, it's actually from a smaller mod I recently downloaded called Makeshift Furniture. There's a lot of really cool pieces on there that I would have never thought of or come up with, and it's definitely one I recommend if you're looking for little filler pieces like this. Also, any writing pieces you see in this build are all from the mod, the Kuro tab. And that's about it. If you have any other questions, please let me know down in the comments. I had a lot of fun working on this challenge, and I can't wait to see what everyone else comes up with. Keep an eye out on Cordless VII's page for any challenge videos, because he's participating as well. And thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Make sure you check out my other builds.